Bruh. Look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Top of his head. <laughs> oh no, they made him scary. Man, remember a few days ago when we all wanted Will Smith to be blue? Those were innocent times. Good times. Back when, you know, he wasn't blue. Why'd they go and do it? Why'd they go and do it like this? If you somehow haven't heard, Disney released a new teaser for their totally necessary, definitely motivated by artistic intent, not cheap cynical box office revenue live-action remake of Aladdin that gave us our first proper look at Will Smith as the genie, and oh, 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 oh Jesus, people have gone fucking ballistic over this thing. I'm not exaggerating in the slightest when I say that my first glimpse of this sorry bastard had me laughing so hard, I honestly feared for my life. Tears were streaming down my face, my sides were on fire. It was like I tried to do cardio for a solid minute, except I just couldn't stop laughing. Just something about it. Obvious jokes aside, I've just been so goddamn mystified by this design choice. It's just... why? Why is it so goddamn funny? And then it all hit me when I saw this fan edit floating around. Now, keep in mind, I know this is just a single still image, so there's every chance it would look just as nightmarish in motion as the original, and I know that it's not much better, but it is better, and here's why. Uh, let's compare the genie to another mocap CGI character, Thanos. Whether you feel he should have been more accurate to the comics or whatever, you can't really argue how great he looks. I mean, the visual effects artists did an amazing job with him. Josh Brolin provided the mocap, and CGI was used almost like digital makeup. They added to his jawline and chin, tweaked his nose a bit, added some more definition to his brow line and the overall shape of his head. They didn't just do this. Let's look at another big mocap character, Davy Jones from Pirates of the Caribbean. Again, this isn't just Bill Nye's face photoshopped onto an octopus. The CGI is used like facial prosthesis to create an entirely new look. And then you got the genie, where they literally just cut out Will Smith's face, put it on a cartoon head, and the result is just... Yeah. Like, I know the CGI in trailers isn't final, but come on guys, you can see where the bald cap ends, why would you okay this? I remember when it was announced that Will Smith was going to be the genie. Not the worst casting choice, by any means, but I literally couldn't picture what he was going to look like. I just kept imagining Will Smith's head on the cartoon genie body, and yeah, yup, that's, that's exactly what happened. The genie is a very, very visual character, one of the best examples of what the medium of animation can accomplish. He absolutely steals every scene he's in, and it really shows you the power of good character design and voice acting. Design-wise, he looks a bit like Robin Williams, but that's more a side effect of the actor informing the character through his performance. Apparently, Disney got him to accept the role by showing him some preliminary animation tests where the animators had taken the audio from a few of his stand-up routines and drawn it as the genie on stage. So you look at him and it's like, yeah, Robin Williams' voice is coming out of that. That makes sense. And then you got the Broadway show, where again, genie steals the entire thing completely. They had a real challenge on their hands translating this character, who is so very much a cartoon, into something that could be done live on stage, night after night after night. And frankly, I think they did a really good job. 
He's a little bit flashier than everyone else, but he could still blend in with the rest of the ensemble when he needs to. You've got the exaggerated makeup helping him stand out. Add in a few costume changes, and you've got a design that really captures the spirit of the character and translates it to a new medium, even if it's not 100% exactly perfectly accurate. Again, it's a look that's very much informed by the performance. And then there's Will Smith, where they just took the cartoon, made it CG, and chroma keyed his face on there. To be fair, I haven't seen the movie. Maybe Will Smith really makes it work, but... God, he's just got such a distinct face. I'm sorry, it's so fucking funny. You've got the... Phenomenal cosmic power! ...of modern CGI on your side, and this is what you go with. Just... Just take Will Smith, make him blue, call it a day. Well done. On the bright side, you just know he's gonna do a late 90s style Will Smith rap about the movie he was just in during the credits, and uh, I think that's gonna be worth the price of admission alone. Well, when the very next day they were thrown in the cell. Both the rest of my requests were far. He was hunting for a land like a servant safari. 